Okay, so we get ready to try the sizzling shrimp with vegetables and chow mein from Panda Express, okay? So as you know, I'm always driving as a real estate agent. I'm in my car quite a lot. But this is what it looks like before we get into it. And literally on the picture, it had five shrimp. And it looks like it's one, two, three, four, five. There's six actually in here. And on the picture, they even had um, broccoli. But looks like they have green beans instead of the broccoli, which is pretty crunchy. So tune in with me for a bit. I'll let you know if it's a go or a no. <laughs> okay. Chow mein's good. Mmm. Shrimp spicy. They were pretty uh, generous with the peppers as well and onions. <clears throat> I was pretty hungry today. After walking around, doing three flights of stairs all day, helping my clients find their next apartment. And some of them, their dream apartment, you know. So here I am, believe it or not, there's a car just pulled up beside me. It always happens, it never fails. I'm over here by myself. I was. <laughs> oh no. Somebody pulled up beside me. It's so funny. There's plenty of other parking all around. There's nothing over here. No reason why anybody should pull up beside me. <laughs> but anyway, I love my craziness. How have you been? How's your day been? Thank you for tuning in. Um, I get people every now and again ask me about becoming a real estate agent. <clears throat> Is that something you're interested in? If you're in Arizona, I could always uh, tell you where to go, what I did to pass. But, um, Mm. Wow, this is good. <laughs> this is very good. There's celery in here. It's a go for me. I'm not even going to be able to eat all this. I mean, my favorite part is the fortune cookie. I'm just like a kid when it comes to those things. <laughs> My braids get in my way, but I love them. Easy maintenance. But, mm, I'm so sorry, y'all. Mm. Right now, gas in Phoenix is $5 and some change a gallon. I know. Where's the gas where you are? Where's the weather prices? Over five dollars. I'll make you go straight home after work, right? Or if you <laughs> wanna go out and enjoy a ride? No. I'll make you go straight home. Um not unnecessary driving. I won't be doing, and I wasn't doing anyway, <clears throat> because um, people are just crazy out there on the roads. Yeah, I pray for you, girl. I'm out there all day, some days. But I have to get home. I think I'm gonna walk. 
I have to cook my husband some stuff. Um, we eat different stuff. He likes my stuff, but he eats everything, bacon, all that stuff. I don't eat that anymore. Not even turkey bacon, really. It's so salty. Just full of sodium, you know? But, no. What do you think the rent prices are going to do? So, as an apartment locator, I get people that want places to live and they don't always meet the income requirement or not necessarily the, um, the other requirements like criteria, criminal background, evictions, those kind of things. Um, there are properties out there that work with it, but the more things you have going on, the more of a challenge it is to get somewhere. You know, I hear all the stories People tell me, oh, um, I had a felony for a domestic situation, but it got reduced to a misdemeanor, this, that, and that. And people don't realize that even though it got reduced, it still shows up. And then because it's a violent charge, there can also be a challenge. I'm trying to get you approved somewhere. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> if I can encourage you to do anything, is try to withhold your anger. Try not to get out here and um, do things that you may regret later, because it could have literally affect the ability to keep a roof over your head. You know, sound you're hearing is traffic cars passing. I mean, all right, there we go. So, I do my best to try to work with, work with people. But my best advice is to try to curtail things from happening. And I know some things are beyond my control. I mean, I had somebody <clears throat> recently got charged with a misdemeanor for refusing a breathalyzer. You know, a lot of people say, oh, I want to call my attorney, this, that, that. But I didn't know they still give you a misdemeanor for refusing it. So... Just think about how things could affect your future. I know in the moment it's hard. It's really hard to think about consequences in the moment. It really is. But I just really want to come on here and chat with you guys while I'm starvingly delving into this dish on the road. I promise I'm going to walk it out today. I promise. <laughs> but you guys be kind to each other. Be good to each other. Good friend of mine um, just recently lost her husband. We worked together. He's been sick for a while. But, um, you never expect that. You never do. Hmm. I kind of think about that with me and my husband. Who's going to go first? I don't know. Only God knows. 
We always say you wish you can go together, but it's not like that. Usually. Not usually. But. Mmm. I want to thank you all for jumping in here with me and I'm crunching on onions and peppers. <laughs> That's all I got for my car conversation. <laughs> Be blessed. Don't forget to like and subscribe.